Hey guys, so there's been a lot of people talking about the new attributes uh, that are being introduced in Minecraft 1.21 recently. Uh, and a lot of people just go through the list and they, you know, they use the command slash attribute and then they modify a specific character, usually themselves. Um, and then they've been going through all of this, all of these lists of attributes um, and have been applying it to themselves. But I actually had to go look at the Minecraft wiki to find how to apply these attributes to items. So, you know, a lot of you already know if you've watched these kinds of videos before that you can apply it to any mob or player as long as the attribute is able to apply to those things. So, for example, this pig behind me, I could make it smaller by doing slash attribute at n, which is the nearest entity. Um, which is this is also a new command. Apply it to a uh, type equals pig. So this is the going to affect the nearest pig, and we can do generic scale, and then I can set base set zero point five, and that's going to make the pig half of its normal size, which is pretty neat. Um, but what you can also do is you can apply these to items. So, for example, I have these boots here that are going to affect my own scale. So this one is going to be, make me very small. Um, I'm very tiny. Uh, I, I'm actually so small that I can hide inside of a lever. Imagine this for a little hide and seek game mode. That would be pretty neat. Um, so we have that. And then as well as having a 200% scale, which will make me three times my regular si uh, size. I am currently six blocks tall. As you can see, I'm taller than this four block tall log. Um, and you can apply this to item. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to do that in just a moment. Um, but first we're gonna go through all of these. So this is going to give me a shovel that actually gives me a plus two entity interaction range. So from here, actually I'm gonna have to fly for this since I made the pig smaller. I can't hit this pig right here, but uh, this is going to give me plus two entity interaction range. I will be able to hit the pig from here because of that. I can't hit that pig over there because I don't have entity and interaction range that big. But yeah, so I can apply this to this item so that when I'm holding it, I can hit the pig. But when I'm not holding it, I, ca I can't hit the pig. So obviously very useful for map making opportunities. I'm actually working on making a PvP map right now that's using some of these things. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but obviously, you know, those aren't the only things that you can do with the new attributes. So we have gravity as an example. This is going to give me less gravity, so I'll have lower gravity. So I can jump and I end up floating in the air, which is pretty neat. Um, that's something that has already been explained in a lot of the attribute videos I've watched. But obviously I applied it to an item, which makes it a little bit more useful. And so now I have these other boots that are going to give me higher gravity. So I can float up in the air and then hot swap the boots and I actually end up falling really fast. The interesting thing about gravity is that when you give yourself too much of it, you actually can't make a one block jump. That can be combated by giving the boots um, extra jump height as well. So that's pretty neat. But imagine a class that can change their gravity at will. Just like this. So that makes it pretty interesting. All right. And then the last thing I was going to show off was the step height. This is also one that's been uh, talked about a lot. This has actually been done in a lot of mods before. Actually, all of these pretty much have. Um, but so this one's going to give me a plus four step height, which will allow me to walk over this log that is four blocks tall. Um, your default step height is 0.6 blocks, which allows you to walk over slabs. But yeah, obviously, you know, I'm attaching it to these boots. So when I'm not wearing the boots, I can't walk over them. But when I am, I can walk over them. So without further ado, let's get into the commands real quick. So they actually made it a lot easier to give items attributes before. I don't know, you know, if you're watching this video, you've probably, um, done stuff like this before. Um, and you'll notice it's a lot easier. So you have to start with the attribute modifiers tag. And then, um, and also this is a square bracket now. I don't know if this is how it was before, but now you attach to the item, um, whether or not it was before, this is how you do it now. Uh, you attach the square bracket to the item that you're modifying. And then you use the attribute modifiers um, component. 
and then you set that to equal. And then modifiers is basically, this is the starting function for all of the different attributes you're going to add to the item. Uh, so that's your big um, square bracket that you're going to be interacting with. Uh, and then for each different attribute, you're going to add a curly bracket. So uh, for this, uh, type is the um, specific attribute you're going to use. So we're going to use generic scale. This is how I made the boots that make you bigger. Um, and then amount two uh, is the value that you're increasing or decreasing. You can put a negative number to decrease. Uh, slot feet is uh, how I made it so that when you wear the boots, it actually uh, increases your height. You could change it to when you're holding the item, which I will show you uh, in the next command block. Uh, ID, I actually don't think that this matters, but uh, I've just been putting it the same as the type. Um, but this actually replaces UUID, which was what made this really difficult before and pretty much required you to use a command generator, which is the most useful part about this update, in my opinion, um, is not having to create the UUIDs. Um, because before that would be just be like a random string of numbers, as far as I remember. And you pretty much would have to use a, um command generator to make this work properly. But now you don't have to do that at all. You just you just have the ID and it works just fine. Um, and then the next thing is the operation. This doesn't matter with a lot of things. Um, this is add multiplied base, which is, um, it, it's weird because there's two different multipliers, but they seem to work the same in the game right now. Um, but I pretty much only use add multiplied base and add value, uh, which is basically adding um, a specific number, which is how Minecraft is arbitrarily tracking the attributes of a player. It interacts with your base and it will inter interact with mobs differently because they have different bases. If you use the multiplicative, multiplicative amount, um, or the additive amount, this won't matter with most things, but there are a few trace examples like gravity. Um, if I were to use add, uh, add value, uh, it increases and decreases gravity a lot more when you're adding and subtracting values. So that's why I, I always use multiplied base. Uh, the other one where this is most commonly used is with movement speed. Um, the next thing is I want to show you how to change it to when you're holding the item. So everything else is the same. Um, and then, but right in here in slot, instead of doing um, feet or head or chest, wherever you're equipping the item. Uh, this is main hand. You can also switch this to off hand. So you can have specific off hands with spe specific values. Uh, like you could have a feather that you can hold in your off hand and that gives you lower gravity, for example. Um, so obviously could be useful for a PVP map or something like that. Um, but yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Uh, the last thing I wanted to um, show you is that if you do want to have more than one attribute on an item, all you have to do is put a comma and then another close bracket, and then you will do the exact same function line like you did here with the operation, um, the type, the ID, and all that. Just do it the exact same way, and you will be able to get more than one attribute on an item. Do note that if you're trying to spawn in a sword or a shovel, um, or anything that has like base attributes on it, you need to apply the attack damage, um, you know, if you wish, uh, to the item to be able to make it work. Because as you can see, this shovel doesn't have any attack damage or anything attached to it, um, like it would normally. So this has like attack speed of your hand and the attack damage of your hand as well. Uh, you'd have to add those attributes separately. Um, to make sure that it matches the attributes of the original shovel or whatever item you're using. And that applies the same to these boots. These boots don't have armor attached to them. They just have the scale and the gravity. So I hope this video was helpful. Uh, I know I had to look through and like actually figure out how to use the commands looking through the wiki. And I think that's kind of annoying. So I just wanted to make this video um, to, to help you guys out so that you don't have to do the same thing that I did. Um, 
if you enjoyed this type of content, I do plan on explaining some more commands because I'm working back through. I have this big PvP map that I've been working on, and I pretty much have to rework uh, about like 70% of the command blocks because a bunch of the commands got broken. Uh, so as I figure out how to rework the game um, to make it work the same way that it did, I will be explaining more of the commands and how all of that works in the new update. So I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.